Welcome to Wise Beyond Bitcoin, Recover the Crypto Neo News, Education, and Opportunities. My name is Lucas. I'm Jacob. And speaking of opportunities, you know, we love to talk about airdrops, which seems like free money, but it's not. It's rewarding participants, members of the community that add value, because as you know, blockchain technology is all about decentralized communities, building grassroots from the ground up. We've got playlists and videos if you're new to blockchain and crypto to get you started. We've got how to start Web 3.0 wallets, sending, receiving, staking. We talk about innovation all over blockchain and crypto where you can find airdrops and opportunities. Where's the innovation? Like secret network, privacy on the blockchain application being built there. There's a lot of airdrops happening on that network as well. There's also um, coming to fruition as the market seems to be kind of correcting hard. We'll talk more about this. We've got videos to talk about why, but Hex, you see pumping. We've talked about Hex and Pulse Chain, and that is about to be the largest airdrop in crypto history, potentially from every ERC-20 token being copied over to Pulse Chain. So that might be a reason. There's some stuff happening activity over there, but yeah, opportunities, where are they? And what is this? What is this not? It's not financial advice. It's not commercial advice, legal advice. It's just education, entertainment, information, research. This is a new technology. It's a new language. We're all figuring this out. Nobody really understood proof of stake, proof of work, blockchain, validator nodes. This is like, who knew what that was five years ago, 10 years ago? So we're, uh, we're all figuring this out together. And in so doing, Jacob has discovered amazing airdrop opportunity. Speaking of EVMs, and we've talked about this before. You've talked about this before. And what is it? It's understanding the need for Ethereum EVM chains to, to be able to scale. It's the importance of layer twos. And what is this layer two? What's going on? So this layer two is optimism. So we're hoping that you're optimistic about optimism <laughs> had to get that out there had to have a throw out a pun <laughs> well you should be optimistic because you've got this handy little article it was a rumor a while ago i remember hearing uh but now it's not a rumor optimism is dropping a token so they're they're launching their own token and what do you take away from that well, the way I look at it is as Ethereum is scaling into layer twos, these layer twos are now dropping tokens for those who participate in their ecosystem. And these layer twos, they're looking to be, you know, the interaction layer where people do the interactions with Ethereum being the settlement layer. What this is going to do is drive demand for Ethereum. This is going to drive demand for the layer two tokens. And as these layer twos compete, you're going to have a handful of layer twos that are going to be the preferred layer that people interact with to be able to have their transactions happen. And if you happen to get an airdrop of, you know, the handful of winning layer two solutions, it could be life changing. It could be like a Uniswap airdrop back when Uniswap airdropped. And the way I look at it is this is just another uh, unique area of the crypto space how value is being created for people who use the network people who actually take part in the network and so as uh optimism moves to a more decentralized governance structure they're allowing you to be able to take part in that value through their token that's what this is all about so like you mentioned this token is really helping decentralize and bring that decision making more to the community so the optimism collective as it will be known as of today's announcement will feature a bicameral house system that divides governance roles among a token house and a citizens house the token house will be comprised of recipients of op during the first airdrop optimism will add users to the citizens house later by way of issuing soul bound nfts that cannot be bought or sold together the bicameral system in intended is intended to mitigate the possible plutocratic tendencies of purely token-based governance okay 
uh, before we get into all that, or I think we just did get into all that, something else is a key takeaway that if you're thinking, oh, I did not participate in using optimism as a layer two, I missed out. No, you didn't miss out because they are, let's say, uh, have announced that the token will be distributed be a series of airdrops and that new users can still get involved. So the point is, whether it's in the IBC or Ethereum here with optimism, it's participation, vote, use the protocol. If you just get involved in, and mess around and use stuff and participate, that participation often, often leads to airdrops and real returns and other in cryptos and tokens that you didn't have before. So, and that you didn't have to go out and exchange for and purchase. So that's a great thing. We will leave all the links below. And there was a hyperlink in this article about the criteria for, here it is, a list of criteria and boom, it talks about it here. The uh, repeat users, the optimism users, those who voted, multi those who donated to their Gitcoin. Yep, yep. If you donated, so um, how does that work? So basically, uh, if you see here, they have different categories. If you're an Optimism user, just using the blockchain. If you're a repeated user, if you're a DAO voter, if you're a Gitcoin donor, these are all qualifying events for this airdrop. And you could see that the for the first airdrop, they actually have a list of eligible addresses and they they put it all out there. And so you can get an idea of how many people are getting into this airdrop. And this is just number one of a series of airdrops. So you can be an airdrop number two, an airdrop number three. And I think that's a very spread out user engagement over time rather than doing one single airdrop and kind of having this influx of users and then decline of users after the airdrop and people dumping the token. So I think they have a unique view on how they're going to be releasing their token. I dig it. This is cool. And we have this handy website, which you brought, we mentioned before, this is just a great resource a tool for education. What is L2 Beats? L2 Beat is like a, uh, just combines all of the data from different layer twos. So you can just look and compare all of these different uh, aggregated layer twos from Immutable X, which we've talked about, ZK Sync, which we talked about, Optimism, Arbitrum. And you can see that Optimism happens to be one of the very large, uh, <laughs> very largest uh, layer two solutions and to see them up, you know, in the top three talking about doing an airdrop, the amount of money and total locked value that they currently have, even during, you know, the tank in the crypto space, these are all things to consider and all things that, you know, in my opinion, show strength in the optimism network. Absolutely. Long-term. We look for macro long-term you know, um, outlooks on blockchain and crypto. And we'll talk more. We have a video coming out soon. Well, we haven't made it yet, but we will uh, about really why and how low can the crypto market go with traditional markets uh, connected as well, because we do like to look at the economy at large and it is all connected. So buckle up, strap in. It could be a roller coaster ride down as liquidity gets sucked out of the market and rates go up. Those things happen. But if you're in, to pay your dues and to go up and down with the market, your crypto continues to grow within this ecosystem with airdrops and opportunities like this. And that's the way I look at it. It's, it's, it's tuition expense. This is all educational. No one really understands. I say no one, but very few in the world understand the nuances and how this technology works. And it's being built every day by more and more people joining the ecosystems and adding value and helping it grow. So we're definitely in the beginning. There are more airdrop opportunities coming. Even Optimism said, hey, this is just our first airdrop. So if you get involved and start using this technology, 
we will reward you as well. So I think we pretty much uh, covered about this optimism be on the standby. If you've used optimism, congratulations. There's a token coming out. If you'd like to get involved, well, check out optimism, go to their site and get ready to bridge some ERC20 tokens or Ethereum and enjoy the virtually, uh, I mean, it's the gas fees are so minimal. It's just once you get off of Ethereum. And just as a quick reminder too, I, I love that little pop-up right there. Uh, airdrops are not going to require any form of payment. Anyone offering to sell you optimism tokens before the official announcement announcement is a scam and to stay safe because there are scams there are people looking to take uh offer this opportunity of hype between airdrops to be able to score some tokens and so this is just another one of those reminders to stay safe from phishing scams out there there are plenty we've done some videos there are others out there but absolutely Stay safe, do your research, take your time. I often say go to the actual Twitter page or the Discord and get a hyperlink from the community. That's another safe way. Um, and subscribe and hit the notification bell if you like this kind of stuff. Drop a comment if you want us to look at another airdrop or potential airdrop to share with the community at large. Until the next time, have a beautiful day and namaste, y'all. Later.